Welcome back to another day at the jetties. We have a cold front that pushed through. I'm fishing the Cantana jetty. Uh, so a little bit about my thought process for doing something like this right now. A lot of y'all ask me, what is it that I look for? It's pretty simple. It's the wind direction. They're coming in out of the northeast and the way the jetties lie, the south one, the Cantana jetty, is gonna protect us. So take a look. Right out here, you can see how calm it is towards the west side. And then let's take a look over here now. This is the channel, that's the east side. Look how rough that is. Plus, when we cast out, our corks are gonna have to fly through this wind and you're casting into the wind. That's just really tough. Plus, it's gonna blow your cork back to, towards the jetty and your chances are really good with your line getting stuck up in the rocks. So that's all I do. Based off of the wind direction, that's uh, how I choose which site I'm gonna fish on. Now, maybe later on in season three, season four and beyond, I may pick up on small subtleties like, hey, uh, your mindset and the practical way of thinking just doesn't work. You're gonna have to rethink this idea of fishing out here all right we picked out the place that we're gonna start fishing and these winds yeah that's gonna be the topic for the day thank goodness I didn't go to the north jetty even if the fish were biting over there I honestly don't care because trying to fight oh gosh we just got sprayed right now really bad um, messing with the wind is just, it sucks uh, casting into it is gonna suck why because we were forecasted I think like nine mile an hour winds and this is like super super strong winds right now so it's got to be 12 and above is what I'm thinking first shrimp we're fishing a depth of six feet let's see how we do there goes Christian right next to the rocks and like honestly I I can just cast and that's it the wind basically takes my line out there and now we're just gonna sit here and wait that's the thing about using live bait you gotta wait until something comes along and just scavenges your bait just letting you know I'm gonna cut your line if you catch a fish right there by my bait hey man I should have done that when you caught my hybrid <laughs> <laughs> Nick I'm cutting your line bro I told you You see, I told you. I told you. <laughs> oh, I just missed him. I don't know what I got, though. Little blue fish, I bet. Croaker? You want some bait, Nick? <laughs> one. One nice uh oh, you you're down. Oh, I did get hit. I told you. That, that's a finish. Good job, brother. That's a Christian's on. Nice, I told you. That is a nice keeper, son. Look at that. No, I think my, my hook. Oh, wait. No, I do got one. I was like, I think my hook is stuck. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right. It's not what we were going for, but I mean, it's something. Got him. Boy, this guy thumped it hard. It's a trout. Good trout. Very good trout. No, he's right here, but I need a net. A no, he's gone. He's gone. Dude, that was a good trout, bro. Oh, no, he's, he's still there. there. He's still there. He's pinched. I, no, he's son, no. <laughs> the dude was a good trout. Uh, that 
that's why you try to get it in super fast. He made his way out of them rocks. Gosh. Oh, we got him. I was showing you, Christian, how to... Oh, he got off. Smack. I was like, no, Christian, do it like this. When I did that, he hit. <laughs> oh, God. I got a fish. Oh my gosh. Yeah, bro, that sucks. <laughs> Dude, that's like two good trout that I've missed already. Bro, I'm sorry. Hey, what are you taking to, Nick? To spoon? What is your retrieve like, Mark? Super slow and twitching. All the way at the bottom? Yeah, Super pretty much. Fast. So, all right, everyone, check out. I want to show y'all the size of hook that I'm using, but I'm losing way too many fish. They're getting off. And then, I mean, the one that I just lost right now, I can't help that. We had a three-way, like, foul hook type of situation, worse than Cirque du Soleil. But uh, look at this. Now that's gonna be overkill for a half ounce spoon, but you know what, I don't care. We'll try it. Maybe we'll get lucky and hook something up. You know what, if we don't get a bite within the first 10 casts, I think I'm gonna switch back to the hook because this hook size being bigger, it's gonna affect the flutter of my spoon. That's something that I didn't take into account and I don't wanna go all day like, hey, what's wrong? I just switched the hook, but man, you'd be surprised. You'd think that it's not gonna play a, a big part in the way that thing gets retrieved and uh, you could be wrong. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know. Get over there to the water's edge. Big trout. It's a big trout? Yeah. Oh, no. That 15 pounds. He got into the rocks. Andrew said he saw it, it was a big trout. Awesome. Look, it's right. Look, look, see, this is what the rocks do. So that wasn't your drag at all. That dude just, he was a, a heavy puller, son. What happened? He's got a good one on him. Yeah. Hey, here, open. Have you ate these before, bro? Or no? Never tried them? A lot of people tell me to try them. They're actually pretty delicious. I haven't tried them before. I must have stabbed them in the brain or something. Sand trout. It's crap bait. Get them, bro. Get them. Get them. Boy, this is National Geographic's happening right in front of us. Get him, buddy. Get him. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, come on. Get it. Get it. Well, they're just being very cautious. Oh, he got it. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. That was a sand trout that I had just tossed out there. I was about to pull out the Sony to get better footage of it so that y'all could actually see what they were doing. But, uh, yeah, we can't show you any speckled trout being caught. We sure can't show you the wildlife and some ribbon fish. I hope you enjoyed the video. Them slow days have a way of humbling you, especially whenever you lose some really nice sized fish, but that's just the way it goes. Right now, I'm going to finish getting these two kayaks ready because we are taking a Northeast Texas road trip, something that's very exciting. I'm gonna go out and fish my old grounds where I first started the YouTube channel back in 2012. Wow, that's a, a long time ago. 
and it was before I actually knew that I was going to be doing YouTube for a living. So if you catch some of those videos, watch out because the cringe factor is all the way up there. Okay, so uh, let's get everything taken care of. I, again, thank you for watching the uh, video today. And if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. For those of you not subscribed to the channel, hey, do me a favor, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you'll know whenever I drop future videos. Until next time, y'all, tight lines.